lesson 12. Um, so we're going to begin with something called uh, backward substitution. And backward substitution is what we're going to call an algorithm to solve special non-singular linear systems problem. We're going to call this u, which is an n by n unknown vector x right hand side vector y y would be an n by 1. Anybody guess what x would be? n by 1 with u upper triangular and the main diagonal entries of u are non-zero for all diagonal entries. We will see that this condition that you have an upper triangular matrix with the main diagonals are, is actually equivalent to non-singularity. This is if and only if. So an uh, upper triangular matrix is non-singular if and only if the main diagonal ma entries are non-zero. We're going to see, we'll get to that point where we're ready to talk about that. To solve such a system, we will design a custom algorithm. What's that algorithm's name? Backward substitution. Yes, it, there, this is very much related to Gaussian elimination. Gaussian elimination is actually what happens in the um, general case. So it looks like we have some sort of inductance there. Huh? In order to construct this algorithm, we're going to start with a special case, which is going to be the n equal 5 case, and consider what would a 5 by 5 upper triangular matrix look like? Let's, let's do it by rows, I suppose. Sorry, go ahead, Namanja. Oh, awesome. Strictly lower triangular portion, all zeros. So maybe you want to do it by columns first. That's cool. U11, 0, 0, 0, 0. U12, U22. Awesome. Next. <laughs> Isn't it so much cooler to write in blue? 3, 3. Awesome. All right, I got to ask you to take a break, Emmett. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pay you overtime, and I'm cheap. I don't want to pay you no overtime. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, and why are they all in red? Yeah, they're all unknown right now, right? This is Jeff's silly color coding scheme that seems to work decently for me. Uh, over here, we're gonna call this Y and. You might ask why we call that Y, and I'll answer that question later. I'm actually setting myself up for what we call LU factorization, which is a very, very famous factorization in linear algebra. LU, like the letters L and the letter U. So L, it's not even a LU factorization. Fac, what? <laughs> Louis? No, it's LU factorization. There's a little. Yeah, we'll talk more about that. Don't worry about it. But that's why I'm setting this thing equal to um, y rather than b. 